when I was in college, you know, I made a bunch of films. I remember I always thought that the film I was making was the greatest and most important film in the history of cinema. I believed that every time. And, you know, of course they weren't, but I thought they were. And that really, you know, propelled me forward and, and you know, enabled me to, to really work on them. And, and I did. And, you know, they're not watchable, but that's what I thought. But the first film I made that was watchable, that I still think is a great film, was a, a film called It's Fall Again. And it was really just a, like a found footage music video of a song by the singer Kath Bloom. And I made it on Super 8. And, you know, Super 8 was a medium that has no negative. It's positive stock. So there's only one copy. Like, if you break it, it's over. You know, you, don't, you can't do anything about it. And, you know, it's easy to break. You know, you have these projectors and it goes through it and it can get scratched and they break easily. And I had moved to France and I'd heard there was a producer named Richard Copens and he was supposed to be a nice guy. And I went over to visit him and I brought my projector <laughs> and my film and I showed it to him. And he said, this is a great film, but you shouldn't be projecting this. This could break. And this film needs to be preserved. You need to make a copy. Do you know how much it would cost to make a copy of this film? And I said, I think like $1,000, which was, you know, way more than I had. And he said, okay. And he took out his checkbook and he wrote me a check for $1,000 and he handed it to me. And he said, I want you to promise me that you're not going to show it to anybody until you make a copy. Can you promise me that? And I said, yes, I promise. I said, okay. And that was it. He just gave me $1,000 for nothing in exchange. He didn't want anything. He just wanted me to preserve that movie. And I was so moved by this. I was so grateful. He was the first person who really validated me with cash. <laughs> like, I'll put my money where my mouth is. Here's some money. Preserve this. I felt so seen by him that I just love this guy. And over the years, I would like sometimes send him emails or letters and, and thank him. And he almost never responded. He might have responded once or twice at the beginning, but basically ignored every single attempt to thank him. And you know, he kept making films and producing films. And I left France, so I never saw him again. But he made such a big difference in my life. Like, it was such an act of generosity. And to think that people could do that, they could really just transcend their own self-interest to that extent because they were moved by a work of art. I've never forgotten that. <laughs>